Kalonzo Musyoka has responded. He is not going to support Raila Amolo Dinga for the presidency in 2022. In this video today, I want us to look at two things. The first thing I want, to, I want us to look is why Kalonzo Musyoka made the announcement that he's not going to support Raila Amolo Dinga. The second thing we are going to look at is President Uhuru Kenyatta's options after Kalonzo Musyoka's announcement. But before we do all those, if you are watching this video or this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and click that subscribe button, the red button you are seeing there. I am waiting for you to do it. If you are not yet subscribed, just click it. So that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. What we do on this channel is that we analyze politics in a way you can't find in any other place. So the best thing you can do is to click the subscribe button. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Please give this video a thumbs up. Now let us get back to business. Earlier this week, President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta met with the leadership from the Okambani region. The Okambani leadership were led by Kalonzo Musyoka, the Waipa Party leader, Charity Ngilu, the Kitui governor, Alfred Mutua of Machakos, there were senators, there were members of parliament, there were religious leaders, there were professionals, there were community leaders. And during that meeting, President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta reportedly told them that if NASA coalition could agree on a single presidential candidate, then he was going to support that candidate for the presidency in 2022. The president was actually provoked by Charity Ngilu who challenged him to unite Kalonzo and Raila Odinga. And you also remember that over the weekend, during the burial ceremony of, uh, was it last week, Friday or Saturday, during the burial ceremony of the former Kibwezi member of parliament, Kalim Bendele, Charity Ngilu again challenged Kalonzo Musyoka and Raila Odinga. To unite because without uniting there was no way they were going to defeat William Samoy Ruto. Why do you think Kalonzo Musyoka who decided today to respond to the president? Let me just tell you a bit what Kalonzo Musyoka is saying. Kalonzo Musyoka is saying that he has supported Raila Molo Dinga twice and therefore he would be mad to support Raila Murodinga for the third time without Raila reciprocating. Why do you think Kalonzo Musyoka made that statement? Because President Ruru Kenyatta was just clear that if NASA coalition could agree on a single candidate, he never mentioned Raila Odinga as that candidate. Why do you think Kalonzo Musyoka was responding? Because again, Musali Mdavadi, who was also one of the NASA principals, also responded that NASA is dead, that he was not going to be part of that particular arrangement. So which means the only person who has not spoken is Moses Wetangula. So if Moses Wetangula is also going to disown that alliance or that reconciliation, then it means Raila Odinga and President Ru Kenyatta are going to be alone. So the question is, why do you think Kanozo Musyoka made that statement? Let us go into politics a bit. The first possible reason why Kanozo Musyoka did that is to one, allow him raise his profile and stake. You know, in NASA, Raila Odinga is the de facto leader. 
Muslim Davadi is the one is the guy who formed NASA. Kelozo Musyoka was the running mate to Raila Amolodinga. Kelozo Musyoka as we speak is not even sure whether in that arrangement he's going to be the running mate. So the first thing he must do is to raise his tax. That I'm not going to be part of it. So that when negotiations are initiated, then he's going to make it that clear. So which means if Uru is keen on Raila and Raila is also keen on running, then they'll have to beg him. And by begging him, they'll have to offer him something. Take the running mate. And that's why this idea of BBI was going to sort out some of these issues. But because we don't have BBI as we speak now, and that window is fast closing on, I'm not sure whether we are going to have a prime minister. So the first thing is trying to raise his stake. Number two, Kalozo Musioka is also trying not to appear weak or easy. But I find it very interesting why he even decided to respond. Sometimes silence is a very powerful tool. If I were to advise Kalonzo, I would have just asked him to remain silent, just talk about possibility of NASA uniting, but remain silent and wait for the president to approach me and ask me to support Kalonzo, I mean to support Mudavadi or support Raila Odinga. But I think he's doing this because he doesn't want a situation where he appears to be weak. By just agreeing to be part of this, it would mean he's weak. So that's the second thing. The third thing, I think it has to do with Ukambani politics. The moment the president told the Ukambani leaders that he was willing to support one of the NASA leaders, the first person who dismissed that was Alfred Mutua. And Alfred Mutua has been traversing the country after that day. In fact, yesterday I think he was in Embu or Kiambu. And he has been to Nyeri, he has been to, to Kirinyaga, popularizing his candidature. So which means if Kalonzo was going to wait to be Raila Odinga's running mate, Alfred Mutua was going to run for the presidency. And I'm seeing a situation now where the moment Kalonzo Musyoka will decide to run for the presidency, Alfred Mutua might actually take the slot. So those are some of the reasons why I think he made that announcement. But the biggest question now is, what are the options available for Raila Odinga and for President Rukinyata, specifically for President Rukinyata? Because Kalonzo is saying he's out. Musalim Davadi is saying he's out. In his own calculations, the president had hoped that NASA was going to be united and he's been trying to do that. And by bringing Gideon Moy, he was going to have a very strong team. If these two guys are not going to be part of this, because I've maintained that for, Kalonzo, for uh, Musalim Davadi, he must be on the ballot to remain relevant. So the question is, what are the options available? There are only three options available for the president and to some extent to Raila Molodinga. The first option for them, and specifically for Raila, for, uh, the first option, in my considered opinion, especially for President Rumi Kenyatta, is to look for a compromise candidate. A compromise candidate is going to solve this problem. So you tell Raila that you can't go alone and you're not getting enough support from your partners. The same he will tell Kalonzo Musyoka and again Musailam Davari. That both of you guys, none of you is willing because I'm also certain that Raila Dinga might not accept not to be on the ballot. So he's going to tell them that for me, I'm willing to support either of you guys, but you can't agree. So the best thing 
let us agree on a compromise candidate and that candidate is the one which is now going to be fronted but supported by these three individuals what i'm not sure about is whether these three individuals will agree to that because i know someone like musale um, badavadi would want to be the candidate a case where he's not the candidate i'm not sure whether he's going to play ball the same with Kalonzo Musyoka. Maybe Relo Dinga can play ball, I'm not sure. But even Relo Dinga, this is going to be his last chance. I don't think he would want to, to give someone a chance now and then run in 2027. I don't think that's going to be a possibility. So the first option available for them is to look for a compromise candidate to solve the equation. The second option, which is available specifically for President Ru Kenyatta, and to some extent, Raila Molodinga is to look for checkmates for Kalonzo and for Mudavadi. And what that would mean is that the president is going to agree that the best thing for me is to accept your verdict, what you are saying. So he goes to Kambani, talk to Charity Tingilu, talk to Alfred Montua, bring them on board. He can then go to Western. Then in Western, they also go for someone like, let's say, Omalwa or Paranya. And even Muhesa Kitui. So that these guys are not going to be part of this coalition. So that's the second option available for them. Checkmate these guys. Just bring other guys. The third option is to allow all of them to run. Raila, we tafuta kura. Kalonzo, tafuta kura. Mudavadi, tafuta kura. All of them are going to run. And even uh, in Central, he's also going to get this guy to run. The speaker, Justin Muturi you'll be assured that if the three are going to run, then you add root of four, you add Rela five. There is no way eight of them is going to get 50 plus one percent. Now, after they've knocked themselves out there, then you're going to have number one and number two. Definitely either Ruto or Ayla. Or Ruto, someone else. Because Ruto will have to be either number one or number two in that first contest then the president will now bring them together and tell them we now know who is number one amongst you so the guy is the one we are going to support in the rerun and that's how politics is played i don't know what you think let me hear your thought on this matter but i think they have only those three options look for a compromise candidate checkmate get someone like Alfred Mutua in Ukambani, get someone like Oparanya, Wamalwa, Mukhesa Kitui. In fact, this issue of check meeting is why I strongly believe that Relu Dinga has been meeting with Alfred Mutua, Chari Tingilu, he has been meeting with the Professor Kebutha Kebwana, he's been meeting with Wamalwa, he's been meeting with Oparanya, and he's been meeting also with Muhisa Kitui. Then, if that's not going to happen, allow all of them to run. Then support one of them during the runoff. How is that politics? <laughs> is it sweet? Yeah, politics is a very sweet again. Thank you guys. And for those who joined the channel membership, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know so many are still joining or are willing to join. It's simple, just click that join button so you become a member what i'll be doing there is that anytime i want to do a video i'll be seeking for opinion from you guys on that particular channel i mean on that membership you can only be you'll only be able to respond and give me your opinion when you become a member so just click join the fees are very minimal from one dollar 
to less than $3. Thank you guys and may you have a good day.